The one end was tied to the tree. The other end was tied to the power pole. It's not that big a deal. It is a big deal. And they just cut it down? Could have easily been untied. And they cut it. But you haven't sat in that hammock for years. No, but you could have. Yes, and I, I, I look at that hammock all the time and think I'd like to sit in it. But it's disgusting. It's full of leaves and it's all dirty. You don't cut down another man's hammock without permission. Thank you. I'm sure it wasn't even supposed to be tied up to the power pole. It's probably a legal issue. They had to cut it down. There is a right way and a wrong way to do things. And this way was just cold. I come home and there in my backyard is my hammock laying limp on the ground. You know, it's one good end holding on to its faithful friend, the tree, and the other end just cut and frayed. This guy didn't even have the decency to use a sharp knife. You could just tie it back up. No. No. No, you're gonna have to burn it. That's true. It's really the only right way of disposing of that hammock. Oh, come on, y'all. It's not a flag. What is a flag? Tell me that. What? What is a flag? A flag? It's a flag. Mm-hmm. And why do we put them up? Because they symbolize... I symbolize. Exactly. They symbolize things. Old Glory symbolizes the U.S. of A, this great country, and freedom. That hammock was a symbol of freedom, too. That's true, because if I looked at that hammock, I felt free. And you never cut down another man's freedom without asking. I don't even think you sit in another man's freedom without asking. Well, maybe you shouldn't tie one end of your freedom to another man's pole without asking.